There is so much more to hosting a New Year's Eve party than gathering around the countdown and then singing Old Lang Syne. Our etiquette expert, Christy Spencer, is back to make sure we're minding our manners. Thanks for being here, Christy. Thank you. Yes. So let's dive in with this question, maybe. What are some rules when it comes to hosting a New Year's Eve party? You're the host. So I think, number one, you know that you're in this party until midnight. There's no clearing people out before then. And I think the other thing is you have to understand that you're going to be responsible possibly for some people who are overserved. Yeah. And so you want to have a plan in place before the party even starts to get everyone home safely. That that is a great tip. Do you, what would that plan look like? I think when you issue the invitation, you start talking about, you know, is there an Uber? Have we do we have designated drivers? You know, whatever that plan is, start that conversation early because after everyone's had a few, yes, it's not a good there. time to make a good decision. <laughs> yeah, that's not the ideal time. I've been to parties before too where like you you show up and you you hand over your car keys. Is that Ooh, a thing? Is that rude that. to do as a host? I don't I mean, I think as as long as people know that going in. Uh -huh. So as long as your invitation is clear and everyone has the information they need to have to make a decision to attend or not, but I think that um you know that's a strategy and yes. you know no matter how you do it you know your biggest job is to get everybody home safe sure yeah. I love that I yes. love the, the you disclosing everything beforehand uh, as a party goer that would actually make me feel safer and want to go to that party we have a game plan this is what we're doing I love yeah. game plans yeah. <laughs> yes I do too I'm a big planner uh, let's talk about the toast right okay. coming up to midnight yeah. what do you got tips on giving a good toast I think number one you want to keep it short yeah. You might want to practice it and you want to be positive. So sometimes, you know, people get a roast and a toast mixed up. So right. a toast is always positive. And if you're the one being toasted to, you just raise your glass or say thank you, but you don't drink to your own toast. Oh, interesting. Mm -hmm. I did not know that. So mm -hmm. you raise your glass and say thanks, but you put your drink down. Yes. Okay. And everyone else then takes a drink in I your like honor. That. You are so right about roasting and toasting getting confused. I 100% agree. I feel like a lot of times people use it as an opportunity oh, yeah. to maybe roast the host or to roast somebody, but yeah. we really want to be toasting on mm -hmm. New Year's Especially Day. after a couple of drinks. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's not your time to come up with your toast at yes. that point. Yeah. What about clinking? To clink or not to clink? I'm that's, a clinker. That's the question. Tell me, please. Yes. So... Clinking, I'm afraid I'm going to be on the wrong side here, but clinking is kind of an old tradition and we see it in movies, but yeah. really a little bit more elegant way to do it is just to raise your glass okay. because we don't want to damage somebody else's drinkware, we don't want to spill wine all over the place, so the best thing you can do though is take your cue from the host, so okay. if your host is clinking, then you're Safe. clinking right along with them. Okay, okay. I like that. Now, social media is a big deal as well, and a lot of people want to recognize that they were at the party, they were out there having a good time. But there are other party goers too. So is it okay to post pictures of other party goers when you celebrate on social media? I think you need to ask their permission before you do that. And if you take a group shot, you know, let everyone approve that group shot. Right. You know, we're usually you know, pretty flexible about it, but no one wants to see their picture somewhere where they're not expecting it, or it's not a good picture of them. Right. It's unflattering. And I think that that really bothers people. Yeah, I agree. Even we were just taking a photo with Dom. Yeah. I'm, like, oh, I'm like she following was like, him. I'm like, can I see that? Yeah, I've got to approve. <laughs> yeah, I need to approve yeah. that, mm -hmm. right? So that's great tips. Any, anything else we need to be aware of before we head off into our New Year's Eve weekend? I think you know, just be flexible. Know that some things might go wrong, but you're going to handle those with ease. And when we do have little hiccups along the way, it gives us a chance to show how graceful we can be. Yes. Well, thank you for joining us. They were sure to have you back again because you help keep us on point. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keep our manners up at the top of our game. So we appreciate it, Christy. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely.